very shallow one. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who were well. And salutation and much love to Yaakim out there, pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. And the shalom as well to the men, women, and children learning in truth and sincerity. <clears throat> all right. And uh, this is the Brother Oz, Great Millstone Tampa, back with another quick lesson, Lord's Will is edifying. That's something that uh, I just want to go in on the, how our people are through, man. They don't know what the hell is going on. They're blind. And here it is. You, 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 you got Edomites that know what's going on. I was speaking to this one of my neighbors. He, he, he looks like an Edomite. Most likely is an Edomite. All right. Um, a doomsday prepper. Alec Mist uh, another uh, Alex Jones himself look alike. <laughs> but uh, this dude, you know, we were... Uh, <clears throat> we were going into it and he's telling me all these things. He's a conspiracy theorist, you know. He was on point on a lot of shit. You know, I'm just picking his brain, letting him talk, you know, using wisdom and subtlety, of course. And uh Yeah, he he was going into a lot of things that uh that are he was he was on he was correct. And he even brought me uh he even gave me some information I didn't know prior and I you know I looked into it and it, and it was uh legit. But um nonetheless, you know, he here it is is just an average Edomite this dude, he knows what's going on. Um, shit, this motherfucker don't even use electricity barely. He got some solar panels he sets up in the backyard and just powers, you know, he, he, he lives minimal, so to say. You know, he just uses the basic electricity. He don't, he don't use AC. He barely have lights on. <laughs> this nigga knows something's coming, but nonetheless, you know, the Lord probably got him stocking up food for me. And, and that nigga probably gonna die soon because he's old guy. But nonetheless... Uh, the point I bring this up is because if an old Edomite like that can get this information, you know, what the hell is wrong with you, Jakes? All right, that we, we constantly telling you to repent, showing you the scriptures, showing you the, the local new, or the current events, showing you all these things uh, that there's clearly point to the return of the Lord. But you got Joe the Edomite, you know, in his 70s probably. No more than the average Negro out here. All they know, all the nigga in a spig wants to know is the, those points on the board. You know who who scored the triple double last night. All right, it, but it is what it is. Our people, majority of our people, are gonna die. So, uh, so let's go ahead and get here in Second Corinthians <clears throat> uh, four. Start at verse three. It says, "But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, and the the majority of our people are lost." Like the Lord said. The lost sheep of the house of Israel, well, the, the majority of these lost souls are going to die, okay? The majority of them are not going to repent. They're going to refuse to hearken unto the words of the Lord, all right? That they're going to hear via his prophets, okay? And they're going to continue to go on until their destruction comes, the before, uh, until the wrath of the Lord comes upon them with no remedy. It says, verse 4, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not right. Esau got all this bread and circus, you're a Negro, Black Lives Matter, uh, Puerto, Rican, er, Puerto Rican Day Parades, Hispanic Month, Negro Month, all this bullshit, okay, that keep you docile and stupid, which is one and the same, but just lost. They don't want you to come back. They don't want you to realize what's going on, you know? They want you to just be a good little hamster spinning the wheel, and that's why Esau, well, ultimately it's the most high, but we'll get to that. But the God of this world is, is the devil. Esau eat him. Okay? And that's how he has deceived the nations by keeping the most importantly the Israelites blinded of who they are. Alright, so they don't have the op even opportunity that will everybody's called, but Esau don't even want you to know about this truth. That's why he sub censors us so much, takes down our channels and whatnot. But ultimately at the end of the day, the Lord is blinding these people. But he's using Esau Edom to do so with all this uh, um, circus, okay, with, uh, you know, the, the bread and circus, you know, keep you in that yellow lifestyle, you know, keep the people chasing after the flesh. And, and our people are, are um, you know, head over heels for with play, pleasing the flesh. Like the scriptures say, they'd be lovers of themselves more than lovers of the most high. And that... That's our people for you because what they the they've been lied to, all right, by the devil himself, so-called white man, self-proclaimed white man. 
to say that you can do whatever you want. You your own God, you know, which ultimately is to keep you from the most high. All right. With all these philosophies, you can identify as what you want. It's all bullshit, man. But it's, you know, it's most importantly targeted towards our people to keep them. OK, far from the most high. But it says, lest the light of of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. Right. So the Lord ultimately don't want to want them. But um, let me read that in the Good News translation, the GNT. All right, for uh, Second Corinthians four and three or four and three. Yeah, it says, for if the gospel we preach is hidden, it is hidden only from those who are being lost. Yeah. So we we're here. It is we're out here preaching. We're out here telling you what it is. But it's, 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 you're lost. You, and ultimately, there's, like the scriptures say, um, they hate the light because they know their deeds are evil. All right, roughly paraphrasing. Ultimately, they don't want to come into the light. All right, they'd rather be continue to be lost. All right, through the, through the witchcraft of, of this devil or the God of this world. Okay. They, they find comfort in, in these lies. They don't want to hear those, those, those harsh realities of judgment coming. Okay, they would rather uh, be in ignorance, like they say, ignorance, ignorance is bliss. You know, they don't want uh, us to, you know, ruin their day. You know, especially on a Saturday afternoon, they might be out and about. And then they hear the word of the Lord, and it ain't, it ain't, it ain't what they thought it was. You know, it, it's about to ruin their day. Okay, Un and unfortunately, that's how a majority of our people look at the the ways of the heavenly Father. It's just gonna ruin their way. Uh, ruin their day, all right? Because now they got to do things that they don't want to do, or or they they can't do things that they want to do. So, the hell with them. Verse four says they do not believe because their minds have been kept in the dark by the evil god of this world. He keeps them from seeing the light shining on them, the light that comes from the good news about the glory of Hamashiach, who is the exact likeness of the Most High. So, they yeah, they did the loss, man. Can't do nothing for him. All right. And ultimately, they're being led, because you even got some guys that, that might know they're Israelites, but they're still lost. That is going to say forever learning, but never coming into the truth. All right? And they, because what? They're being led by blind. Uh, verse Matthew 15 and uh, 13, it says, But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Right? So ultimately, if you're not part of the elect, you're not going to get it. You're lost. All right? You can read the scriptures to you. You, to your eyeballs fall out of your head you're not gonna get it because if you're not ordained all right predestinated to receive salvation and to receive the knowledge wisdom and understanding first and foremost in the faith then you ain't gonna get it it don't matter how how simple we break it down to you how many times you see the israelites out there you know if you're not gonna get it you're not it, it just ain't for you the lord ain't looking for everybody all right the, the lord said my sheep hear my voice, okay, and they and they and they come to me. Roughly paraphrasing, but the majority of our people don't recognize the voice of the Lord, so they go the opposite way. You know, they're going into the sh towards the wolves. <clears throat> it says, verse fourteen, let them alone; they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So they going they gonna go, you know, in, into you know destruction of following one another. All right, the three blind mice, you know. But again, the Lord is using Esau, Edom, to, 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 for the most part, to keep them blind. Or they're just lost, and the, the Lord put an evil spirit on them, or, or the spirit of lying and deceit. You got some of these leaders that know they're, they're, what they're telling is wrong, and they're doing it anyway because what? The God of this world has paid them off. Okay? So, you know, they're not warning you because what they they, they, they they took the bag. Uh, let's go to Isaiah 56 and 10 real quick. It says his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Right. So they're not. You're supposed to be up watching as a watchman. You're supposed to. You're the first line of defense. You're supposed to warn the people, blow the trumpet. Okay, blow the horn, damn it. The the doom is coming. But you got these guys just, uh, you know, throwing Israelite barbecues, you know, rap battles, 
WWE matches, Israelite WWE matches, and they got the fringes on his his leotard. All right, uh, uh, Israelite uh, bachelorette parties, uh, uh, single night, single nights for the Israelite. Come on, man, you people are lost as hell. They're not warning the congregation to repent. Yeah, you know they talk about the laws, but repent for the kingdom of heaven's at hand. Through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. This is what you need to be telling the people. Of course, we got to tell them about our heritage and our laws and statutes and commandments. We keep them to the best of our ability. But damn it, you got to warn them. Warn them. There's a judgment coming on this earth. The horrible times are coming upon this earth. Nuclear destruction, the mark of the beast, all of these things that you should be talking about. And you don't hear a peep out of these guys, man. Verse eleven, yeah, they are greedy dogs, which which can never have enough. Yeah, because they want they want money. They want they want to be praised. Okay, king, here come the bishop and the high priest and all these fancy titles and the women cheering them on like cheerleaders. And you got the the, the, the simpletons, the blind leading, you know, the ones that are following blind leaders. They're just clapping like seal, uh, uh, you know, nigga jumping off the top rope with a with a flying elbow. Meanwhile. You know, they passing laws and, and bringing this digital currency. It says, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his from his quarter. Yeah, they want they not they don't care about the congregation. They were looking for them tithe money. <laughs> now there's nothing wrong with tithes, okay? Obviously you're supposed to really you, the elders are supposed to live off of that, but we look if you don't want to give tights, we're not gonna push pressure you. You can you can get it up the road. Shit, you don't have to be here. You don't have to give us money. The scriptures talk about uh, buying the truth and selling not. So we're not asking for no kind of funds for you to get these breakdowns. We're gonna give it to you for for free, okay? And it's gonna be raw, rugged, and rough. If you don't like it, good riddance. Because this is the word of the Lord. We ain't write up any shit. Some of us wrote these words, but these are the words of the Lord. All right, John 12 and 40. He hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted and I should heal them. So the Lord don't want to heal a lot of these people, man. The Lord don't want you to be converted and be healed. The ones that don't ain't going to get right, they ain't going to get right. They can't. The Lord don't even want to heal them. So what can we do for you? We're going we to warn you. That's what we can do for you. Get the blood off our hands of pursuing this equals. Uh, chapter 3, all right, we're going to warn the wicked <clears throat> from his wicked ways. And if you take heed to it, then if he don't take heed to it, we've done our job. Now it's, that's between him and the Most High. All right, but you've been warned. You can't say you, you just rejected the light. But at the end of the day, it's not for all of Israel. All right, um, we'll finish off on here, Romans 11 and 7. It says, what then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So all Israel ain't going to get it, only the, the elect of the nation of Israel right now. Okay, the election. Okay, let me read that in the Good News translation, see what it says in there. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's bear with me, I got it on hard copy. All right, Romans 11 and 7. It reads... What then? The people of Israel did not find what they were looking for. It was only the small group that God chose who found it. The rest grew deaf to God's call. There you go. I mean, they don't get more simpler than that. God chose the small number. Okay? The elect to come into this word and, and obey Yahweh Bashim al and repent and return unto him. Everybody else is, they, they gonna miss the call, you know? So hey, look, hey, be count your blessings, be glad, and thank you. How about Shimia Shai that you're able to receive this word, okay? For it to come for your soul, and you know what's coming. So with uh, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. So continue to push and continue in the faith. So with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadash. Shalom.